Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss one HLA coding question. Okay, and that question was came on 5th January. So I gave this exam and I got this coding question in my exam. So in this video, I will describe the same coding question here. Okay. So let's start. So before starting, I just want to say one thing that basically Astelic uses Coquif platform for their exams. Okay. So let's start. So this okay so this is our question so let's see first what this question is saying to you you are given a string x your task is to convert the string x into the string y such that y represents the minimum possible number that can be found from x by replacing the character 9 minus the value of the character to be replaced that is you can replace a character d in x with 9 minus d in y Okay, so this is the question. So what is the first thing is that you have to find out the minimum possible number. And how you will get a minimum possible number? You have to follow this formula. 9 minus the value of the character to be replaced means this D, right? Okay, and the last thing you have to just do the subtraction. 9 minus that particular character. Okay, but the main task is that you have to find out this D character. Okay, so, so now... This is this note section also. So a string should not start with 0. And transforming the string y must have same number of character as x. Okay. So what is the first thing that the string should not start with 0. And what's the second thing is that the number of the characters must be same. Okay. So what is your main task? Your main task is that you have to find out the minimum possible number. Okay, and to find out the minimum possible number, you have to follow three things. What is the first thing? You have to use one formula. And what is the formula? 9 minus value of the character to be replaced. Okay, means the D. Okay, and what is the second thing? The string should not start with 0. And what is the last uh, thing is that you have to uh, maintain the number of the characters. Okay, means the number of the character in X and the number of the character in Y must be same. Okay. I think this question is clear to you. Let's see the example. So this is the example. Okay, this is your input and this is your output. Okay. Okay, and one last thing is that you have to use in string. Okay, not in integer. Okay, string x and string y. Right? Yeah, string y. Okay. So the user inputs must be string. Okay, and the output you will get also in string format, not in integer format. Okay. So you will uh, give this user input okay 454 and you will get this output okay in which format all this in string format okay so basically 454 and you will get this 4444 so let's see the explanation in the given string 454 only second and fourth character from left okay that, that is 5 is changed uh, to 4 9 minus 5 is equals to 4 and others remain the same okay okay i just reading this explanation but i'll describe this explanation also so basically you have to find out the maximum number okay so what is the maximum number in this string your maximum number is five okay and this five has total two times okay so you have to use this character means this is our which character this is our d character okay then you have to just use nine minus d right and what is your d here your d here is 5 okay so 9 minus 5 is 4 okay is equals to not a 2 okay and you will get 4 okay so i think this is clear to you means you have to find out the maximum number okay means not like maximum number it is in string format right so you have to find out the maximum character okay so Again, the example then you will get a better understanding so basically this is your input okay and you can think that okay so here 9 is our maximum number right but note if you uh, remember this note section they have uh, mentioned that the string should not start with 0 right but if you use 9 minus 9 you will get 0 right so that's why you cannot use this 9 okay in that case you will have to take the 8 means the next maximum number okay 8 right so 9 minus 8 you will get what 1 okay that's why you have to replace this so then you have to replace this 8 with 1 okay so 8 9 1 0 1 okay 
so this is our output i think this question is clear to you i think you at least you understood the what is the logic but basically you have to find out the maximum number not like maximum number means a the inputs are in string format so it means that you have to find out the maximum character character is equals to 9 then in that case you have to uh, use the next maximum character okay here i will solve this coding question in java but i think at least you understood the logic part and i think you can solve this question in any language so now let's see how you can solve this problem in java okay okay so now i come to my eclipse id so what is your first task is that you have to take the user inputs right so first import then okay so here i will create another method in that method i will do all the necessary operations okay so here i will just call this particular method How? so now so at first i will take a character type array okay c equals to a. i will take array so sort method why so because i just want to sort the character array and i just uh, want to take the last character because in the last character i will get a maximum character okay and all the tasks i only need to do on that uh, maximum character okay so c and then so they have some catches right if that particular character is equals to 9 then i cannot do like just 9 minus 9 right so in that case you have to take the next maximum character okay so that's why here i will use some if else conditions okay so c of c dot length minus 1 is like less than 9 okay and else see what i can do in the if log so if this if log is executed it means that uh, you will get a character and that character is less than 9 okay so here i use the 9 in character format because we are comparing with the character that's why here i take the n as a character okay so now the thing is you get a character and that character is less than 9 right so in that case if you can remember in the as our question is saying to us that you have to take the minus means you have to uh, use uh, you have to do the subtraction from 9 okay so int n okay just take this int n here okay and then n equals to 9 minus d okay and what and here what is d your d is this character okay right so so now the question is you can think like okay but uh, how we can do the subtraction because this is in character and 9 is an integer so in that case you have to convert this character into an integer right so c of c dot length minus one means this is your last character and is this the maximum character now you have to convert this in integer so you have to do only this thing minus zero and this zero is also is in character so in this way you can convert any character into an integer okay so now what is your next task your next task is that you have to now convert this your string also means now you have to use the replace method if you don't know what is replace method then i just want to describe this uh, describe this uh, replace method also here so basically if you have a string like r t t a okay and here you want to use the replace method and you just want to replace this t uh, with a okay so if you use this replace method and what is your character that uh, this is your character okay and you want to change this t with a uh, okay and so then you have to write this character also and then you will get what r a a a okay so in this way this replace method will uh, work okay so now you have to use this same concept so now a is equals to a uh, old character means it you wants to change the character you want to change is c of length minus one okay and you want to change this character with n 
okay so this replace method is a uh, string type uh, method okay so means this method will give a string okay so that's why and this is a string method so basically that's why you have to convert this two character into string okay and this n is an integer so you have to convert this n into a string okay so in this way this if block will execute okay that's all you only need to do in the if log okay now you can think like okay but what if we have a string and here we have three four eight eight uh, two times we have eight right then you will get output what uh, three four one one right and replace method will change all the character means like this is your last character okay eight so c dot length minus one you will get eight right so now if we do the step second then you will get n equals to one right so if you use this replace method it will replace all the eight with one okay so in this way it will work and you will get your desired output three four one one okay so now let's see what we can do in the else block okay so in the else block means your last character means if you just sort the character array and in the last character what you have your your character is nine right so that's why you cannot just do the just subtraction means nine minus nine you cannot do as you can remember in our question is told us that you cannot like the string cannot start with zero so now the question is how you will solve so basically i just um you say for loop okay and i just travel this character array from the last okay you can also uh, start this uh, for loop from uh, c of length minus 2 okay that is okay so now if c of i is less than 9 okay you have to take uh, this 9 in character that's why i write in the quotation okay so now if any particular character you get any particular character that is less than 9 then you have to take that particular character okay and then you have to do the same thing 9 minus c of i you have to convert this in integer okay and then you will get your n okay then you have to again use this replace method and this replace method will return you a string okay i mean the return data type is also string okay and what is your old character a c of i okay and then you change to this uh, to change this c of i with n right okay semicolon you have to convert this in string because this replace method is a string type method okay then you will get your output but now okay like if, let's take the example like if you have uh five six seven seven right okay then you have eight and then nine right so now your last character is nine okay then in that case if flow will not execute right and what is your next uh, maximum value is 8. In that case, it if flow will execute. Okay, and you will just use the displace method and you will get what? 5, 6, 7, 7, 1, 9. Right? So now, if this if flow will again execute. Why so? Because it not use any break statement. Right? For the next time, it will again execute and now your character is 7. Right? And then again the if lock will execute. Now it again do this subtraction and you will get now n is what? 2. Right? And again it will replace this 7 with 2. And obviously it is not working fine. Right? Means if this way this code will work, then you will not get your desired output. So to avoid this, you have to use break statement. Okay, means for the first time when this if condition will execute, this is the last time this if will execute. Means for the first time means what is the next maximum? I mean after nine, what is your next maximum number? We'll execute this if lock for only for that number only. Okay, and then I will just break from this for loop. Okay, so now. I just return this s okay so now just return s right okay so now 
please run this code okay so now what is your first input is 4545 4, 5, right 4444 4, 4, 4. and what is your next is 9801 you will get your desired output 9100 okay so now um, let's see the first example like what is your first example is 4545 4, 5. means your user input is 4545 4, 5, and we will just pass this 4545 4, 5. Uh, from this method okay and now your a c is equals to equals to 4545 5, right and you just convert this 4545 5, 5 into a character array okay so now i just use a sort method okay so if i just use a sort method now your character array is 4455 5, 5, okay 4455 5, 5, okay so now this if block will execute obviously because your last character is less than 9 okay so now this n will give you what now is n will give you 9 minus 5 okay and you will get 4 uh, just a second note yeah 4 right so now if we use this replace method it will change all 5 with 4 means now you will get uh, means what is your uh, string is 4545 5, 5. now it will change to 4444 4, 4, 4, right if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section and i hope this video is helpful for you and best of luck for your exam so thanks for watching see you in the next video